Hello and welcome back. Uh, so last example we understand about a wish message example and uh, so let's see another example in this video that is called the product item. <clears throat> Generally in your cart you have a product, uh, list of products and where you can increment the cart quantity and decrement the cart quantity. Right. So let's take that realistic example now. So for that I will uh, go to app. I'll come in wish message as well. You get empty and now I'll create us because we go level by level. Okay. Uh, something more complex than wish message. Okay. Um, let's say product item dot JSX. Yeah, I need to have a snippet. I'll copy and paste it. So let's have this replace with product item replace all. And let's configure with app product item. Okay. And now let's have a design of it. A small design I'll make. One container with some margin top three and uh, one row single column. Let's say p.h3 product item. Uh, let's have some text uh, success. Okay, and then uh, let's have a paragraph of lorem 30 tab. Okay, uh, look and field should be like a proper application. Okay, uh, below that I need to have a table with content. Okay, so below that I'll take another container. Uh, here, uh, if wish margin top three, one row uh, and a single column, I'll say one uh, table I need. Okay, list of items in a table format. So table. So I'll say class name. Table table striped and uh, text uh, center and table over. T head table row T head star six tab. Okay, let's have serial number. I need the image of the product in a name of the product. Okay, and I need a uh, price of the product. I need quantity of the product. I need total of the product. Okay, so let's have uh, BG, BG dark and text uh, white. Okay, yeah, below that I need to have a product information. So first of all, how can you display the product information? It must come from a state because when I click on a increment or decrement, that should come from a state data. So for that, I create a state now. Let something use state hook. Okay. So what is that state and set state? Okay. So what is your data? I say product is an object which contains some data. For example, it's have some serial number and uh, image and uh, name of the product something called mi watch and the price of the product let's say some uh, some 1500 and the quantity default quantity i'll give to fine i need to have a image i'll just write forward go to google and get some smart watch you go for images and get some watch yeah this one i'll copy image address and I'll paste here. Okay, so you you have a state data. This state data as it is I want to display on my uh, here table. Uh, table row TD. The first one is uh, you write state dot product dot serial number. So what happened you get the serial number. But uh, I don't want to write every time state dot product dot serial number. You can use a destructuring also. How you destructure we discussed in a previous videos is equal to state. I want to read only the product objects. Just you can destructure the product object. If you destructure the product object from the state directly, you can use state dot serial number. Don't use state. I mean product dot serial number. Don't use state. Fine. And what about the image? expression product dot image 
but I got image URL but I want the real image to be display simply what you do you can write the image tag and SRC will be my image so that you get the image okay and you can write some width and height with uh, some 50 and uh, height uh, some 50 I made two okay you got image and name of the product let's say product dot name you get the name of the product and uh, price of the product product dot price okay and lastly you have a product dot uh, quantity right and what about total total very simple uh, total is what sorry total means 1500 into 2 so you write, you write expression product dot quantity into product dot price so it calculates to 3000 3, okay now setup is ready but only thing is for quantity I need a plus symbol and minus symbol so for quantity I write an anchor to I tag uh, with the class fe minus fe minus uh, decrement not decrement I guess M minus square okay with uh, mx one some gap okay so like this I need one more this is uh, fa plus plus a square or circle mm, okay looks good <sighs> now the setup is ready okay now what is my plan is when I click on a plus symbol I want to increment this uh, I mean the quantity when I click on plus symbol increment the quantity depend on that total also gets increment minus symbol is to decrement the quantity that's all simple right so how you make this same event handling uh, too much source code that's fine I told right next level of your previous example one more example also there that is next level of this okay uh, so plus symbol so what is my plan uh, plus symbol is I tag so I say on click is equal to increment quantity okay a function copy uh, I'll say here let's increment quantity is equal to a a function you want you can write an alert and check is it working or not so click on the plus symbol so increment has come so it is working okay now what's your plan here I want to update only quantity how you update can I say set state set state in this you access to the previous state you access to the previous state and here you set state so let's say product object as it is see the same product object because set state will replace the existing state not just uh, you know adding a one property replace the existing state completely so set state this is the my state data I have okay now product is there product so in this entire object I only need to update the quantity then what about these guy you can keep as it is where quantity I replace with existing quantity what is the existing quantity state dot product dot quantity plus one okay this is the only one which I am updating okay but just to satisfy because it will replace if you don't write these things what happen it will become null okay because replacing right it only keep one property quantity and remaining all just empty so I have to write it but my it looks something weird right sir you want to update only this guy but still you have to write this yes you have to write this to satisfy react there is an option for you instead of writing all this you can make a copy of them uh, that is using the spread operator of ES6 what is that is instead of using all the things here dot 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 
state dot product okay usage dot 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 state dot product means all the existing things will replace here on top of that quantity i'm updating okay fine now you check refresh data is there you click on the plus symbol see updating four five six nine thousand like that okay and let's say the minus minus that is easy let's copy the same function let's say uh, decrement quantity and just make it as a minus that's all okay and let's call it where is that here on click is equal to decrement quantity that's all so now check so plus symbol is incrementing minus symbol is decrementing but one problem is two one zero you you never have a quantity zero right minimum one will be there but don't go with minus values also is going minus value so you have to stop it so where you write the code is simple here while decrementing if you say minus one keep on reducing right uh, it stop at one so i write like this condition you know turn the operator right so if it is uh, minus one is greater than zero then state dot product dot quantity minus one otherwise just one if it is more than zero then reduce it otherwise just keep the one as it is simple condition okay so what happened now incrementing is working decrementing is working it stops at one i'm trying to click but it's not reducing less than one okay perfect so now you have one a realistic example called product item okay and one only one uh, you can do something more next level of this example because here we hardly we have only one product uh, generally what happens in the cart item you have a collection of products so let's see the next example something next level of this multiple items and how to increment a particular item and also calculate the total uh, total amount for all this Okay, let's see that in the next video. Thank you.